Okay, welcome guys. Um, let me see. Yay, here we go. This is fun. Okay, so I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get get ready and get prepped to craft all these. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how, hi Ginger, welcome back, Christina, welcome back, um, pumpkin cauldron, where did I put the tutorial for coffin, there's the coffin, all right, so, so this one, I wanted to create it into 3D, you can make this into like cards, and shakers and everything but i thought creating it into a 3d would be super perfect and then it can go on top of the hearst so that's what i was thinking of doing by that and so let's see i do have i like the black one I'm trying to find paper that would yay hi hi kitty I'm trying to find a good um, a good paper to use for I think this one would be perfect wouldn't it let's see the back portions let's see it let's not be super conventional this would be super cute too as a coffin I think this paper has so many cut aparts like you have you have um like a never ending supply of ephemera it's so cute did i show you guys did i show you guys the mini album that's inside did i show you the mini album that's inside here oh my gosh this fits perfectly i want to cut all those puppies i know that's what i've been doing i've been cutting look i've been fussy cutting all of them Voila, and this is all your ephemera. Isn't that so cute? This one is a cat, and there's a ghost paper I'll show you guys. And then the cut aparts, there's already sentiments, which is super perfect. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Craft Bahai, remind me, please, what is your name so we can um say hi to you with using your name? I don't do Halloween, but I'm here for the company trying to finish a project. Ginger, what are you fishing? Let us know, gorgeous paper. My own, my only Joanne's in town never got it. That sucks. Can you order it online, Kitty? The mini album. Yes, this is a coffin mini album. And I love that if it's perfectly inside here. Oh my gosh, that's legit. That's really a nice box with a shape mini album. Maybe I can make another shape. Yes, you can. Heidi. Hi, D. Welcome, D. I'm glad that you're here. Trying to finish Gina's challenge. I'm always late to the game. As long as I think you send it to her on time, it's going to be fun. Um, okay, so this one is a mini album. I just cut. This one is foam that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just put like score marks. And then this one in the cat. And then when you open it up, I just attach the pages using, um, you know, washi tape. Welcome, D. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. The ladies here are very um, accommodating and they're super, super nice. Don't worry. Look how cute. And like Fussy got all these puppies. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this paper so much. So cute. These ghost dog and cat are adorable and they're all wearing a dog they're all wearing a ghost costume it's adorable so it makes the coffin less creepy because they're so cute i feel like aren't they so cute i think i need a sentiment for this one let me grab a sentiment because he needs a sentiment let me see candy corn costumes let me cut that came out so cute it makes the coffin situation less creepy like you know the coffin 
kind of implies death, but it it just it's just too cute that it takes away the seriousness of the coffin, you know. How cute is this? This is probably my favorite dog. Look at his face. Isn't he so cute? And then this, look at this cat. It's like, what happened? <laughs> what, why am I here? What happened here? And then this one fans out. Because I, it was too late when I realized that this was the accordion fold was cute. It was too late. I already attached all these and I didn't want to redo it. But the back part is also, this one is not decorated. But this is my favorite dog. The puppy is just in a, as a hot dog. Yes. So cute. It's so cute. And this is the back part. Maybe I should sign my name on it. Christian. 2020. Oh, Robin, hello, how are you? I was showing everybody what I created using this KS Crafts Coffin Shaker Die. I'm going to put a link down below once this video um, gets published. But look, using just the die, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Um, this is a shaker coffin with... A shape mini album inside. It's so cute. And then I have this card. Welcome Robin. You are up late. Or up really really early. And this one. I love attaching these acetate. Floating thingies. I think it's so cute. That is just up there. <laughs> And then yeah, I just I didn't I didn't have any candy because we finished all the candy. <laughs> You're up late, yes, you are up very late. Um, I just put the kids to sleep, but I wanted to play with this collection. I have so many. Look at these, you guys. I love the fact that it has built-in sentiments. I love this paper, built-in sentiments, built-in cut aparts built-in ephemera all you need to do is cut them up yourself and it is ready for you cute right look how adorable how adorbs is that and then there's more for me to fussy cut i was starting to fussy cut right here anyways so what we're doing is we're kind of choosing hi pia welcome welcome Look how cute. I want to fussy cut these guys. Look. Look at these guys. So you fussy cut them. So cute. Look at this guy. I like the mummy. Are these so cute? It's too much. Look at these guys. This guy holding a balloon. Look at this guy being a candy corn and a taco. Come on. Hi, Christina. Hello, hello, we have two Christinas in the house. Isn't this so cute? I think this is super cute to fussy cut. And in the back portion is that. This is so cute. Look at the pirate puppy. And this one is upset because the candy kind of spilled. And this one is not helping pick up all the candy. This is super cute. And then you have these sentiments that you can use. This is so cute and it's so easy to fussy cut. Let me use my bigger scissors. And this is the back part of it. Right there. What are you guys crafting? If you're crafting. I'm sure some of you guys are on, on their beds. Just watching, trying to kind of calm down. This is what I do when I work the next day. I have to stay up really, really late um, so that I wake up late. Otherwise, I'm not a very good sleeper. So what are you guys up to? What are you looking forward to this weekend? Um, 
I am excited to use the donut die. That's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to receive my pumpkin spice collection from Urban Jams. Hopefully that happens. I'm so excited. I was fussy cutting crepe paper. Now I'm organizing it. Fussy cutting crepe paper. Oh, to make rosettes. Are you talking about to make bulky rosettes? Do you categorize them by color? I'm sure you do. Tricks for treats. How adorable. Wicked cute is a cute sentiment for these guys. And then look how cute is this sentiment. I'm in Halloween collab. Ooh, what are you creating, Christina? Look how cute. Wicked cute. These are bigger sentiments, though. What are you creating for um, the Halloween collab? Tell us. Tell us. And this is a Halloween collab, too. Oh, well, technically, the previous video was a Halloween collab, um, which is Tina's cute critter challenge Ooh, hi nikki very very late i'm at work but not doing anything at the moment perfect come here hang out with us i'm decorating my house for halloween and finishing some halloween projects for my puppy's birthday oh my god that's so cute she was born halloween that's adorbs i did the coffin that i put on probably instagram Last week, I did the coffin. I know, coffin is all the rage right now. Um, I used this this coffin die to make these this 3D card for Chris, um, Christine, um, for hashtag Tina's Cute Critter Challenge. Hi, Lana. Hi. Hi, girl. Good night, girl. Thanks for being here. I'm just using the dice that um, KS Crafts sent me. And so I created, obviously, a 3D coffin, which is super easy. How do you make the box? I'm going to make the box with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, um, Pia. You know, I lose track. And then I start fussy cutting, which is I'm excited about, as always. And then that, that's it. Hi, Alicia. Love, love the coffin. I have that die. I would love to learn. Okay, let's get the papers. I just want to see if my choice of paper was the right paper so we're gonna create it right now is that a ks craft style yes it is this is what it looks like this is hi effie welcome effie so this is what it looks like you guys and it has like this one it has this rip and this weird one and this is from ks crafts you guys and look um, this is a 3D card. This one is a 3D coffin. Yes, the hollow paper is cute. 3D coffin. This is a shaker. I didn't feel it that much. And this is a shaped mini album. And I just used this paper collection so cute wouldn't this be so cute it took the scariness of the the coffin away from me i feel like because these are so cute the critters are absolutely adorable aren't they so cute and then you know we just we just do that i'm checking the papers because we're gonna create it we're gonna make a 3d coffin and I'm going to show you guys the measurements. And this is um, 4KS Crafts. This would be a would this be a cute coffin. I'm not sure. Good night, Lana. I was fussy cutting digitals. Ooh, that sounds like a good plan. Fussy cutting digitals. Good night, Lana. Thanks for hopping by. Appreciate you being here. Um. Thanks for hanging out. Sweet dreams, Miss Lana. That's cute. These are so cute to fussy cut, wouldn't it? I'm going to tear off a page. You guys, this is such a cute coffin too, wouldn't it? I think it would. But let me look further. 
Oh, this one is. This is the dog one that I fussy cut. Isn't this the cutest? Okay, gotta go. Uh, and we'll be back. Okay, Ginger. Is that a pineapple dinosaur on the animal paper? Pineapple dinosaur. I think it's a pineapple dog. Um, it's a pineapple dog. Christina, I'm obsessed with pineapples. See the pineapple dog? It's a dog in a pineapple costume. And then this one is looking to the right and the other one is looking to the left. I hope you can see it. It's a pineapple costume. And then the headpiece is like, <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. I think this would be cute casket. Oh, um, casket or coffin. And this one is the last one. And this can be fussy cut too. This one also, but I feel like it's too bright. Those are my scraps. So I think this one would be a good... Oops, I shouldn't have used my Hawaii slings. Bucha. Oh, got it. Okay, come back when you're done, Ginger. Come back when you're done with your bucha. We're not going to be pow yet. Yes, that's all I know in Hawaiian. Pow means done. Um, I have an all over pineapple stamp. Christina, lots of fun. I use Distress inks to color each part. Then stamp it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That sounds so much fun, Nikki. Little Crafty Nook is Nikki. So which one should we choose? I'm sure you guys are going to choose the holographic, isn't it? This one. The problem with this one is directional. We'll try it. This one, I have to cut it, but it's not, of course. Yes. All right, so let me do that. I'm going to set all these things aside. Um, let me put everything aside. So the first thing we're going to do, holographic. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our pieces. Um... I need to cut the base first. And since this is a specific direction, we're going to have to do this. This we're starting from scratch. Because... And I have to do the specific direction gives a nice watercolor effect that's a great idea oh my god i can barely see it she's i think i'm not sure if i have any more of this paper i think this is the only one okay yes this is the right paper you have to look you guys because i made a mistake before you have to make sure that it does it's not the double right there because this one is a shaker portion okay right there I hope I can see that this holographic paper is extremely bright so pardon me you guys because we're starting from scratch I didn't do any pre-work I did not know that I am going to do this live session, so we have to kind of just go and cut everything because I didn't pre-work anything. Okay, and so I didn't get this, get it out this year though. Oh, for summer, Nikki trying to punch and so that I can save the scraps this would be super cute as flowers by the way okay I really like this one holographic okay now next I think we should 
Oh, hi, Marcia. Good morning. You are up late, girlfriend. We are up late, too, by the way. We're making a coffin. We're making a coffin, um, 3D coffin. I am going to use this one. We're making a 3D coffin using um, a coffin die, this one, from KS Crafts. I'll put a link down below as soon as this um, this goes published. And then I need to cut. I hope I have enough paper. Uh, I need to cut it. Let me cut it. I need a... I need a 12 by 2. I think... I'm not sure if we have enough paper though, you guys. Let's see. I need to cut this up by 12. Is that the Michael's back glitter? Um, yes. Yes, it is, Christina. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to cut. We're going to need, so for one, for one entire side, for this entire thing to be covered, you're going to need one sheet of 12 by 2 and one sheet of 7 and 1. Technically, that's 19 by 2 inches altogether. Let's see if we have enough paper. I think if we just do... If we have enough for just one side, we should be okay. Okay, by two. So this is perfect. We have enough for the top. And then we can use like black or another sheet. Let me see if I have another one of that paper. I don't think I do. I think that's that's the only one I have. That's so weird. Oh yes, I do another have another one. Let me let me get let me get that. Oh no, but I don't. I don't want to cut the bunnies. So I'm gonna use this for the base of the bottom. So this one we're gonna need 12 by one and a half and seven and one fourth by one and a half. So I'm just scoring one and a half. No, it's not going to look right. I have to do it. Okay. Yeah, I have to do it. There's going to be something left. Okay, so this is one and a half. Because, you know, the top part is going to be less thick than the bottom part. That's why we're doing two. one is, the bottom part is two, and the, the top part is one and a half. I'm going to show you in a little bit. I'll show you as soon as I have all this removed. It matches. Is that like, yes, okay. So... All right, let me explain. Let me explain really quick what's going on. So these, these are one and a half, and these are both two inches. So for the top, the top part of the coffin, you use the one and a half. And for the bottom part, which is a little bit thicker, that's what you use for the two inches. I hope, I hope that is, that makes sense. Um, you don't have to make the top smaller if it's confusing. You can choose however, like the height you want. I thought it would be cuter to be able to do that. But you can choose not to do that if it's too confusing. Okay, next we're going to do some die cutting really quick. And I'm going to put you guys a little bit up higher. And you're going to see the mess on my desk.
Hot Mess Express. You guys are up late today, huh? This one is the base. And this one is the base. And then the black one. You have to make sure that you have the right one. So this is the base. So that's what we're going to. And this is a magnetic platform. I need to change this because it's already cracked. I don't understand how and why it cracked today. Okay. And remember for the shaker piece, you're going to need a foam part. And you're also going to need an acetate part. So we have to cut both of that. Now you get the base of the coffin. Ah. <laughs> okay. This one is your shaker. So don't forget there's a huge difference. So I made that mistake today. So I want to make sure. Remember the shaker part is thicker than the base part. Let's all go hit thumbs up on her video ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much kitty. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So now we have that. Super cute. Let me just punch a couple flowers. And then I'll toss this. And now we have this. Which is the shaker bit. And then this one is your free. That's your free um, coffin. Next, we're going to cut two more sheets. Um, one is the base, which is the acetate. And one is the foam, which is the shaker. So I'm going to keep this right here. How are you, senses? Where do you live? Done. Thanks for the reminder, kitty. I'm okay. I live in Georgia. You are up late. I hope this fits. I don't think it does. No, nope, it doesn't. Um, let me get some acetate. I know I have it here. Maybe I should cut acetate. I'm going to do this two times. My dad lives in Florida, Panama City Beach. Marcia. Census one is Marcia. Okay, I'm gonna do this again because this is acetate. Hopefully it cut very well. So as you know, if it's a shaker, you need an acetate and you need something to make it thicker. So this one is the acetate portion that we're cutting right now. Yes, it did cut. No, see, I made a mistake. God dang it. Oh, I made a mistake. That sucks. See, I cut the acid, I cut the shaker bit. Dang it. That's gonna go in the trash. That sucks. Okay, let me get another. Yikes, good thing I have a lot more here. That sucks, you guys. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. You have to really pay attention because you need you need the thicker one for the shaker. So this one is for the foam. Nice to know your name. I'm Nikki. Nikki is from the Bay. Nikki is from California. A. Eh? Your view is gonna shake because the table is attached to the camera. The camera holder is attached to the table. So we are almost done with die cutting, but that was a big mistake. And now we got two sheets. 
Yes, I like it. It cut very well. That's perfect. And I love the stitching. I don't know why, but I think the stitching makes it extra, extra special for me for some reason. So that is your base. And you're going to notice that your shaker is thicker. So don't forget, don't make the mistake that I did because it's super annoying. I'm lazy. Now I need my shaker. Am I going to use my... Yes, Christian, you're going to use your new Silly Winks. Okay, I'm going to use my new Silly Winks. This one I got, I get. This one I get from Hobby Lobby. So I'm only going to cut one because this is this is $1.49 from Hobby Lobby. And it is 18 by 12. So I use these for wheels shaker elements and such so it's a good buy normally i only get the black and the white one but there i think there's pink and there's brown and there's blue so check it out sorry about my messy desk um because i was i was not intending of doing a live but i thought i'll keep you guys company because I'm going to sleep late anyways today, so I'm glad that you guys are here. I hope this is the right one. It is the right one. It has to bite it. I have to push it. Yay, I need to finish my cup of kindness. Yay, what are you going to put in it? I went to Hobby Lobby to get that last week. I couldn't find it. Going to try again Friday. Christina, you go to the foam section. Yes. Where is Hobby Lobby? Is that a foam? Yes, it's in the foam section. They have a lot of that. Oh my gosh. My, my thing is broken. Look. I need to get a new one ASAP. So look, it just cuts like butter. Butter. So easy. Cuts like butter. And I love that it doesn't stay flat. Ah, oh, I have an emergency. Look at this situation. It's just, it just broke. Today. Today, today. They were out. What, they were out? Yes, it's by the kids' stuff. It's by the kids' stuff, like the felt. That's right. Um, they were out so much foam last week. I thought about that, but I wish they had more color choices. They have pink. I saw pink. I saw blue. I saw brown. I just didn't like the shade of pink that they had. Um, I gave my big kick a fellow to a fellow crafter a couple months later. She won a really nice one. Um, I'm filling it with candy, teas, and trinkets. That's so cute. So now we have our elements. Let's see. So this is our... i got to check if I need to do some more die cutting. So... Your foam layer, your acetate, then your top layer, which is the black glitter. And then your, this one, right there. Um, I think my suggestion is, I wanted the black foam. Yes, the black foam is perfect for everything. Um, my suggestion is you assemble everything first before you do the shaker bits. So let's do that. I just want to get the die cutting done. And now we're going to get our scoreboard. My table is so crazy. But let me set all this, some of these aside. Just so it's not super cray feel like it's too cray on my desk. I cannot do it. So pretty on the halo. 
Apollo. Hi, Chantal. Welcome. Guy Chantal is from the Netherlands. Everyone. Thank you for being here, Chantal. We're crafting really late. We're trying to create a coffin. A 3D coffin just like this one. And Chantal... Yay! Ginger's back from her shower. And Chantal... Um, this one is from KS Crafts, sister. So I'm just, um, I'm just creating, it's a shaker coffin. So let's, super, super cute. Oh, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, this is from KS Crafts. I used my dyes. Check it out. Remember we talked about it? So, yes. So we're going to do a shaker. I did a um, shape mini album for you guys who just got in. Hello. So this one is a shape mini album. It makes the coffin less scary, I feel. Right there. It absolutely fits perfectly because this is where it lives. And then shaker. And then this one is um, a card. A 3D card with a ghost. This has the all these I created for um, hashtag Tina's cute critter challenge. If you guys haven't or if you guys have checked her out, so cute. Anyways, so um, this one I need to cut. So this one has to be. So your second one. You're going to need a 12 inch one and you're going to need a 7 and 1 fourth one. So I'm going to mark the 7 and 1 fourth and we're going to cut it there. Okay. So that's what you're going to need and you're going to attach it to here, which is we're going to do in a little bit. Thank you so much, Jenny. This is a pumpkin, pets and pumpkin. Um, let me show you. This is from Joanne's Pets and Pumpkins. And then the girl who did the challenge, her, her name is Tina, and her channel is called The Scrappin' Rabbit. So that's her challenge. And you don't even have to send her anything. You just have to create a card, a tag, and another item using Pets and Halloween. Or not pets, but um, critters, cute critters, and then you do a virtual a, a video response in either YouTube or YouTube and or Instagram, and that's it. You have an entry for her, so make sure that you watch her video. Cute paper. Is everyone here so late? <laughs> yes. What time is it with you guys? It's nine thirty a.m. Hi, Les. I didn't see you, Les. Hi, Les. It is 1.24 a.m. here in California. It's 10.25 in Hawaii. 1.30. Yes. We are in California, me and Nikki. Holland. 10.22 in Holland. How fabulous. Ooh, it's so late for Christina. Hi, Becca. How are you, Becca? We are making a coffin, 3D coffin. And the die is from KS Crafts. Close. I'm not wearing my watch. Just glance at the phone. The snowflake paper is so pretty, Nick. So this is what we're creating, you guys. I'll put a link to the... Um, this die. But if you want to watch my KS Crafts DT unboxing i have the link to this as well um anyway so this is what we're making and so we're creating this these sides okay so i'm gonna put this right here so you can see what we're creating so we have this this is the 12 inch this is 12 by 2 and this is 7 and 1 fourth by 2 as always we're going to score it at half we're going to score every single sheet of paper half Half an inch. Same as before. 
right there in half right there okay so we're gonna set this aside remember the smaller part is the top part and then the the two inch one is the bottom part um oh 425 in georgia wow marcia did you stay up all night like we or did you get up early in the morning yes what is the answer marcia so this one is the bottom and this one is the top as you can see this one is a little bit thinner than this one christian are you always up this late do you do lives at this hour often no i don't actually be i normally don't but since i am going to work tomorrow i have to stay up late and my intentions was doing a live um for the the video response but i saw that there's a lot of people here so i just wanted to hang out because i'm going to stay up late anyways so that is the explanation nikki has been working at work since 8 p.m work three twelves a week now wow no i went to bed super early actually fell asleep watching a movie and then i woke up and can't go back to sleep so here i am <laughs> yes i totally get it 4 25 in the morning so we're going so the the longest one the 12 inch one we're going to score it half Six and three, eight. Eight and three, eight. One, two, three. Nine and three fourths. Eleven and a half. And eleven and eleven and seven, eight. Right there. That's super tiny. The smaller piece is one half. Thanks, by the way. I'm bored as hell at work. This is entertaining and I'm learning. LOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm so glad. That's what I did last night. I stayed up all night until 7 a.m. Yes, you have to adjust your schedule. Um, I so get that. Marcia, I'm making another memory deck spinner for a swap. Ooh, that's amazing. Thank you that you're here. Yes. We'll keep each other company. So the this one, the seven and a half piece, we're going to score at three eighths, and we're going to score it at one half, and then we're going to score it at six and one eighth. Okay, and then you burnish your burnish your score marks. It's hard to see with a holographic, huh? Okay, you guys, you have to be mindful of where your score marks are. Like this one, I scored from here, but my score mark is here. So I have to rescore it. So three eighths, one half, and six and one eighth. Thank God it's not so much. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's okay. So I'm going to score on the 3 8 portion. Then this one, I'm going to score at the half. Kapit Bahai, what do you do? Craft Bahai, what do you do? Yes, what do you do, Dee? You're bored at work. Then this one. And then this one is another score mark. So I'm just doing the score marks. This is what it's going to look like, you guys. See? See it? And then we attach it. I'm going to attach. I know it's very brave to do this, but I can barely see with the holographic for reals. Right there. Right there. So this is our bottom piece. My friends. Then I will get this one. I tried working for a subacute in rehab center, but it was too much. Once they became clear of COVID, started admissions like crazy. Now I'm back to home health. 
That is wonderful. I work in the emergency. Nice job. Have you? Yeah. Um, I'm in the work in the emergency department, so I feel you, girl. Oh, little Lucy pup just jumped on my lap to watch you again, Christian. Oh my God, she would like you to fill the coffin with Scooby Doo snacks just for her. Of course, little Lucy. U.S. Postal Service. You. Hi, Lucy. I see. I see now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, Nikki is an LVN. Christina's a pastry chef. She says, hello, woof, woof, Nikki. Oh, my God. That's so adorable. So, this is what we have. And then, I remove these. Okay. And then, I cut the score marks. This is super hard to see, to be honest. The holographic is blinding. Christina is a chef. That must be amazing to be a chef. My friend is a chef in... Um, in San Francisco. Must be f a fun job to be able to, to cook, you know, if it's your hobby. We always say it, it's like, you know, I want my job as, I want my hobby to become my job. Okay, so now we have this. It's better to be the partner of from a pastry. <laughs> yes. Craft by, I made a patient whose mom worked for UPS. I worked at Coconut Grove in San Fran. Is Coconut Grove a restaurant, Christina? So now we're going to attach it. We're going to start right here. It's hard to see with the holographic, you guys. This is intense color for your eyes. And you have to like really do it perfectly. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Yep, a long time ago, Christina. Coconut Grove is a restaurant. I used to live in San Francisco. I don't remember. I used to live in Pacifica. Um, maybe it's a fancy restaurant because I don't know fancy restaurants. So easy, guys, right? As long as you have the measurements, it's so easy to... To make it into a 3D coffin. I promise. It's going to be so easy. You're going to be like creating coffins. Left and right. In no time. In no time. I promise you. So this is our base. And then this one. And then I will glue that together later. Well I can glue it now. I just... Put a little snip of glue gun. I love the glue gun. It is super shiny. Oh my gosh, Nikki. So shiny, it's hard to see. Look at that. Look at the holographicness of that. It's so easy. You just need the measurements, which I already measured for you. Done. Next. Next. I hope I did this correctly. Otherwise, I would be like really not happy. Okay, so I need to find out. So I scored this one. I burnish my score marks. This is really important that you do this, you guys, because you may make a mistake. So now we've identified our burnish. And then we score again. 
Same thing. One half. Okay. Six and three, eight. One, two, three. Eight and three, eight. One, two, three. Nine and three fourths. Eleven and a half. And eleven and seven eighths. Right there. Eleven and a half and eleven and seven eighths. So I'm just burnishing the score marks with my fingers. Nothing much, nothing too intense. And then in this. Did I burnish all of them? I checked the back portion. Next, this is our next part. <gasps> Hi, Andrea! I passed up that paper but may have to get it. Christina, you have to get it because it's so cute. Hi, Andrea, how are you? So second one, this is our seven and one fourth piece of paper. You score three eighths, one half and six and one eighth. Hi, Andrea, how are you today? This one is our, so this one is where we're going to attach it. The half to the half, okay? And I'm going to score the three eighths. Right there. Okay. So now I'm going to glue that. Easy peasy. Right there. I want to keep it burnished. Had a better day today. Yes, that's wonderful. I am so glad you had a better day today, friend. Were you able to go somewhere? Because I know Disneyland is still closed. So we're just putting our score tape. I love this score tape. I need to get more of this one. Right there. So, so easy. Okay. So it's a, the good thing is we've already burnished most of this one. Yes, got some Halloween decorating done. That's great. I just stayed home, worked on some decorating, video chatted with family. Every little bit counts. That's right. That's right, Miss Nikki. Every little bit counts. That's for sure. Especially nowadays, you know. very important that we value who we have I'm just cutting some bit marks based on my score mark I taught a class today you guys I just want to share with you guys night Christian night everyone have to actually do some work <laughs> all right good night D so glad you're here. So glad you came and hang out with us. I did a class today and I taught in, I think it is Google or Microsoft, not sure. But I taught the cup of kindness there. And um, if you, teach, you know, I taught and then it was so much fun. I taught them how to make the cup of kindness using a ruler, scoring with a ruler, and scoring with just basic, basic um, instruments like this one. But they were able to do it successfully. I was so, so impressed. Ryan and I are working on producing all the products for the new collection. We've been working on that today too. I'm so excited to see it. I'm so excited to finally see the collection. Andrea, I'm excited. Google. Yes. <laughs> what is it, Pia? Is it Google or what? what is the name? I forgot to tell you. I forgot to ask, actually. Please enlighten me, girl. I just said yes. But I was so impressed that they were able to make it with basic. Um, that was so impressive to me. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Not Google. Because <laughs> you guys have a lot of Google. 
not probably not Google. Probably my friend Gil is the one who works at Google. Yes, it was impressive. It was impressive that they were able to create with basic supplies. I am absolutely blown away by that. But these are like top-notch peeps. Oh my god, it's done. What the hey? That was super easy, you guys. Oh, so easy. You totally got this. Totally, totally got this. I'm going to mark it with a pencil so I know how much to close. Oh, you are too sweet. You're too sweet. Yes, I used a ruler. Um. Oh my gosh. So this is so done. Wasn't that so easy, guys? So easy. You can... We just transformed a flat die into a 3D project. And now we put the shaker, which is the most exciting part. That went so fast. Yes, that was easy. Easy peasy. Look how perfect it fits. Like, boom. Like a glove. Check a bye and wham. And then the coffin, because of the print on the inside, it's not too scary. And thank you, thank you, everyone. Not too scary. But because this one is scary, right? But then when you look inside, oh my god, they're so cute. The critters are so adorbs. So it kind of balances this out. It balances out the scary versus the the cute. And I think that is adorbs. And we used, for the base, we used these. And these are called Coffin Die. And it's from KS Crafts Lovers in AliExpress. Um, I don't think the KS Crafts have it in their Amazon store yet. But as soon as they do, I'm going to check. I'm going to check definitely with Hannah if they have it available over there. I just went... Click a bow wow. <laughs> Click a bow wow. Okay, now we're going to put our shaker bits, which is the most amazing, my favorite part. Okay, I think we should do this a little bits at a time. Because we cannot make a mistake. And it has to dry quick because we're going to put some special stuff inside. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you guys are here today. Otherwise, I'll be talking to myself. Which is okay because I do it all the time anyways. But I prefer talking to people, actually. Might sound unbelievable, but... This one, where did I get this? I think I got this at... Don't remember... It's from the food section of somewhere. But we need to remove these big pearls because it's not going to fit in the shaker. Oh, heavens no. Yes. Yes. I don't want to look like I'm delusional. Look how cute these are. These look like pearl earrings. Definitely prefer to talk to people. I'm sure about that. So you just have to be patient on this one because the glue, if I used the glue, it would take forever in a thousand years and a half. That's why I love the glue gun. It dries so fast. So convenient. So what you what what are you guys' favorite midnight snack? If it's midnight right now, what are you gonna be snacking on? I like, actually, I always, always like, after work, I love bacon cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. That's what I crave for. I don't know why. There's nothing special about it. But for some reason, if it's late night and it's after work, because I get off at 3.15 in the morning, 
I think that was my mistake. I used regular glue and it took long. Yes, try try this one. Leslie likes ice cream. Christina likes tea and fruit. I just had some Vienna sausage. Ooh, that sounds so good. I think, yeah, I think I'm hungry. So you need a snack. Um, Pia, try glue gun. I love this sure bond, sure bond glue gun. I got it from Amazon and I know this is available in Hobby Lobby and you can use your 40% coupon. I like raisin bread with cream cheese. Ooh, that sounds so good. Mango chunks. Yes. Lots of coffee, of course. Always lots of coffee. I think we all run on coffee. And kisses from our kids. Um, yogurt with granola. Yes, that sounds so good. Have you guys tried the um, no big cream cheese? So good. I get it from Walmart. It says no big cream cheese. And then I add fruit. And then, um, uh, what do you call this? Graham cracker crumbs. It's so good. Yes, I have that because of you. Yay! Thanks, Pia. So glad that you guys are all here today. Thank you. Pia, are you doing a little bit of work? Okay, now we're going to use this sprinkle mix called Jack O' Lantern's Glow. Okay. But I have to remove the big parts. And that would be easy to identify. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to throw that. And, ooh, that sounds, that looks so cute. Yep. Uploading kids' homework. Oh, you're a good mom. You're such a good mommy. Uploading and checking everybody's homework. Ooh, that's cute. And then I'm sure it's going to shake. Yeah. It looks so good already. Yes, this is a mix for cupcakes. Hi, Alicia. I didn't see you there. Little Paper Crafter. Alicia, hello, Little Paper Crafter. Yes, this is for cupcakes. But I use it for my shaker bits. Shaker bits and pieces. This one is a challenge. You know why? Because it's acetate. And glue gun. I am not sure. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried acetate and glue gun? Good enough to eat. Because they are they are for eating. Nikki. They are actual sprinkle. They are actual sprinkle. Sprinkle mix for cupcakes. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I think it looks so good. I have been quiet. <laughs> I love what you have created. Thank you so much. And Nikki, if this is cheaper. And it's always on sale, so make sure. But you have to check. I think it's Christina who told me that she... Christina, craftaholic, Christina. I think it's you, Christina, who told me about this one, right? It's okay. Don't be afraid that it's going to be messy because we're going to cover it with the black one anyways. Alicia, this is a group of ladies that are super accommodating and super nice to each other. Welcome to the group. Technically, we are called PHA or Paper Hoarders Anonymous. So you are free to join. Welcome, welcome to the group. You sit in a gumball machine. That's perfect. That's what a main jelly bean. I knew it was you, Christina.
It's so cute. Look how it moves very well. Yes. And so we're just doing it little by little. Just be patient. Yes, we don't want it to melt too much. Little by little, just be patient and use your Dollar Tree finger protector. Hey, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Brian, good morning. What are you up to, Brian? We're making a co 3D coffin, my friend, for Halloween. What are you up to, Bri? Look how amazing it falls. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, it looks so good, you guys. I love it. And then we're going to put this one to protect it and to make it look professional. I'm like a professional coffin maker here. I think we should use glue like regular PVA glue on this part I don't know why I feel like my gut tells me that I have to yes this one is art glitter glue that I got from Amazon I feel like I've been making coffins all day. I'm going to be the same in a, going to be doing the same in a few making caskets for my hallway. Oh my gosh. Ha ah, you were faster. I was gluing something. <laughs> what if you glue the smudges on the acetate? What if the glue smudges the acetate? That's why you have paper flowers, Pia. The glue will, would We'll always smudge the acetate. I feel like that's its, its job because the acetate is so easy to mess up. And yes, it's going to. But this one dries clear, this art glitter glue. This dries clear, thank goodness. And so you just have to be patient enough to... Just let it attach itself. This is why I use regular glue, you guys, on this one. Because the um, the glue gun will make it smudge. So I'm just being very patient doing this one. The paper flowers answers. Yes. <laughs> yes, always. Like, and the Nouveau drops, you see. You see the imperfections on here with the hot glue gun. That's why there are Nouveau drops in those strategic locations. That is why I learned the art glitter glue is cheaper on their website. Oh my gosh, I need to check that out. Art glitter glue. What about the bear something? Have you guys tried that? The bear berry glue or something that everybody is using this was already like 20 something dollars i'm not willing to spend more like because i still have that i haven't finished it maybe once i finished it i will decide on getting some oh that's so cute let me get the cross Oh, yes, this is, like, creepy. What do we think about this one, you guys? It looks so professional. <laughs> oh, yes, embellishment. Hide the magnitude. Yes, that's right. <laughs> this glue is great. I haven't tried that one. Yes. Look how amazing that it rolls. This looks like a really, really serious coffin compared to these coffins. Right? These coffins are like, oh, I'm so cute. I'm a coffin in a card. This one, I am an actually a coffin, but I'm still cute with the ghost and everything. And they're hanging out by the gravestone. 
This one looks scary. Like, scary. <laughs> I got paid double on Amazon. Whoa. I got paid double on Amazon. I haven't tried the glue yet. It is the bare one. Yes, I haven't tried that either. But I heard um, good things about it. So I think to make it not super creepy, let's cut some animals. I think this is super, super cute. You guys, you guys have to try. You guys have to try. Reptile glue is also amazing. Ooh, what is that? You guys have to check out this dye because it's legit. I like... Let me see. I do like this. Oh, it's closer to me. I like the mummy dog. This one that's facing that way. And then this one that's facing that way. So that is what we're going to fussy cut. We will see. Pineapple pup. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's do pineapple pup. For Miss Christine because she's obsessed. With pineapple pup. And then the back part of these we will make into flowers. That's why we have a lot of punch flowers because we have a lot of scraps. I try to remind myself of not to stress over the scraps because I really have to be aware to remind myself okay just punch a couple flowers several flowers and then toss it because otherwise i will just keep all the trash um we won't be doing a big party this year either yep halloween is not gonna happen i ordered some reptile glue last saturday should be here oh let us know bry let us know what you think about the reptile glue sorry it was working no problem andrea um, we don't have it either. Trying to work on stuff while I watch this. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Alicia says, okay, night everyone. Thanks. I love this project. Yay, you have to try it, Alicia. Tag me if, once you make it, okay? I want to see your artwork. Oh my gosh, how cute. So they are visiting the this grave site, I think, is what is going on in the situation and they're talking to each other the puppies um this guy's name is bruce this one's name is george bruce and george and just finished putting sequin mixes together for orders, my magical world, and some Christmas collections. That's amazing. I love, love, love your sequins mixes. They're so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I didn't want to use it. <laughs> if if we can be very honest. You know how like you have those certain things that are so pretty and you like don't ever use that. Never, never. That's how I feel about your sequins sequence mixes Andrea this is so cute and magical magical he's so cute I like the ghosts a lot creepy crawly yeah let's do creepy crawly Yes, of course. Yes. Andrea sequence mixes are the best. I would not dare use mine because it's too pretty. I cannot. It's like definitely a hoardable item. Sorry, ladies. You guys are the bomb staying up. I'm going to bed. You got to get up tomorrow morning. Thanks for the company. Good night. Good night, Ginger. Night, Ginger. So, yes, that's what we're going to do. I need to foam, to put foam on. What's his name again? 
I know this guy's name is Bruce. I forget. What's the name of the pineapple? I forgot about it. Totally forgot. If you guys remember, please, please, please remind me. Bruce and... Oh. I don't remember. Hope they're hollowing on the moon. Yes! Good night, Becca! George. Bruce and George. Good job. Good job, Christina. You have a great memory. Bruce and George. Yes, I have a co-worker named George. Right there. And this is for George's body. Just so he is not sinking. And Bruce... Bruce and George are definitely hanging out. Most defo. Mm, yeah. Let's do that for George. No, I think this is Bruce. Bruce is in gray. He is in the... Yes, Bruce has the one with a cover on his mask. And George is the one who is in a pineapple costume which is Christina's fave oh hi Ina hi sister how are you guys Ina is my sister and she's in the Philippines that's so cute I think that we were able to I think we were able to remove the scary factor of this um the coffin because, you know, the coffin normally signifies something scary. But this one looks so cute. This paper collection is so cute. You know what you're doing right now? What's happening? Hi, thank you, you guys. She's my sister. She is in the Philippines right now. Hopefully, I can visit her after the pandemic because it's been a while. Bruce and George. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yes. Christina, Craft Amazing is my friend Pia. She's also from the Philippines. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't this so cute? My favorite is the cross for sure. I have technically I haven't used this um, crossbone and skull. I may have to do that. I don't know what this is, but it looks creepy. Look at those eyes. Is is this a pumpkin? Not sure. I'm watching while preparing dinner. Ooh, what do you have for dinner? What are you having for dinner, sis? Love it. Oh my gosh. I think it's missing something. I don't know what it's missing. I feel like it's missing some. Is it missing some sentiments like what I did on the other one? Should I put multiple sentiments like this? What do you guys think? Or is it going to cover? Is it going to cover our. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I swear. It looks so good. <gasps> I love it. Oh my gosh, there's like spider webs stuck inside. That's all right. That's what flowers are for. <laughs> That's what flowers are for. Oh, I have some flowers that are drying right now. Here are some flowers. They've been drying. Hopefully, they're already dry. Ah! Yes, I have so much cauldrons in my room. Yes, I think we're missing a purple. 
and I love creating these punch flowers because they're so easy and economical. I don't know if this works though, to be honest. I don't think it's cute. It's weird. It's just there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to fly. I think this is super, super cute, you guys. Check it out in AliExpress and KScrafts.com. I think KS Crafts Lovers is the name of the store. Oh my gosh, how cute! I love how they fall. I wonder why some of them are not. You have to try this shaker coffin. Her flowers are so cute too. Thank you. Okay, Chantal. You guys, you have to make this for sure. So this is super easy. Super, super easy. Um, Let me give you the instructions. Okay. Don't forget that... Flowers are all over the place. Don't forget that you're going to need... Obviously, you're going to need the coffin situation. So you need two of the coffins. And then you're going to need technically four pieces of paper. So one is 12 by 2. One is 7 and 1 fourth by 2. And this is the bottom. The top part of your coffin. You're going to need 12 by one and a half and seven and one fourth by one and a half. That's your basic construction. And then all of these four sheets, just imagine that this is that, just imagine it's symmetrical and everything. You're going to score it one half inch on all of them. Okay. I ordered it from AliExpress. It's so super cute, Christina. You're going to love it. I promise you, it's going to be so cute. And then the first, so the longer one. So we're going to assume that this is the longer ones because it is. And these are the shorter ones. So for the longer ones, you're going to score it. After you've done this, you're going to score it at one half, six and three eighths. 8 and 3 eighths, 9 and 3 fourths, 11 and a half, and 11 and 7 eighths. For the shorter version, you're going to score it as one half. Oh, sorry. You're going to score it uh, at one half as well, but wait, let's review. 3 eighths first, 1 half, and 6 and 1 eighth. Easy peasy. Make sure you get a screenshot of that. I'm going to put it down below as soon as um, this video uploads. But I want to make sure that you guys have this specific one. I ordered a few things from them. The Smile Stamp Set, Die, and the Monkeys. From AliExpress. Make sure you get the coffin, the coffin die, Nikki. It's super, super cute. But these are the measurements for you guys so you can create your own 3D coffin. It's so easy. If you don't want a shaker, you just make a coffin. If you want a shaker, no problem. Make a shaker and fill it with so much goodies. Just imagine you can put chocolates inside or pencils. Like anything fits in here, to be honest. Um, everything fits in here. I'm going to put it formally in the book because... I normally don't put, put it in the book until it has worked already. I still feel like it needs some flowers or something. There's something missing. Do you guys feel that there's something missing? You gotta put something here. It's something missing. There's like a, the, the coffin is free shipping right now on there too. Oh, it is. That's amazing. Good night, Pia. I know we had an early morning today. Good night. Thank you so much for your help all day long. Have a good night, my friend. I'm working tomorrow, so I have to stay up late. I'm so glad that they're free shipping. Is there an event, Christina? Yay! Chantal is back. 
Chantal, I'm just putting flowers. I just like to put flowers. I'm one more sentiment with V flowers under it grouped together. One more sentiment. I love that idea. I always love sentiments. Spooky candy this way. What about spooky candy this way? That'd be so cute to close it all up. One more sentiment with three flowers under it grouped together. I was going to put it down here. Oh, yeah. It has to be down here. Yay! It's so cute. Yes, I love sentiments. I love that this collection have sentiments on them that you can fussy cut. This is the best. So you never run out because you're just fussy cutting the sentiments. It's so amazing. I don't know just when I ordered it, but it was free shipping for it. Yeah, so cute. Good night, peeps. Good night, crafty peeps. Good night, Christina. Yes, you really put flowers on it. That looks so nice. Too. Yes, I feel like it was missing something. Like grass or... It was missing something really significant for me. And I don't know what it is. And sometimes when I can't pinpoint what it is, I just put punch flowers because they're so cost effective. Oh my God, I love how it shapes. You already put flowers on it. it looks so nice. Thank you so much. Good night. Oh, Chantal is leaving. Who's leaving? Christina is leaving. Good night, Christina. Look how much we have, how many coffins we have so far. This is the heaviest coffin because it has all these. These are table scatters that I got from Hobby Lobby. Can I put them here? Is that too weird? Yes, it is weird. Yeah, no. Totally does not work. But this is supposed to be a 3D card. My crafty days just begins. Yes, craft with us. Good night, Christina. I hope you sleep well. Sweet dreams. Yes, it is a 3D card. It, is, it could be a 3D card, you know. You can have a card inside to say, like, happy birthday, happy Halloween. And then it makes it extra special because it has treats inside. It's not just a regular card, but a very special card. How cute. And then this one is our mini album. I don't think, Andrea, you've seen the mini album. Let me show you really quick. No, I understand. I was doubt to say Christina because I didn't know it was her real name. So this one, Andrea, is a coffin-shaped mini album. That fits perfectly in these coffins i am a coffin maker today i made so many coffins well technically just three i'm exaggerating but this one is our coffin shaped and this is from this one because i had to be smaller it had to be smaller so that if it's perfectly inside and so i use the shaker the inside portion of this shaker die and this is from KS Crafts. They sent it to me. Um, they sent it to me um, to use. I love that kitty cat boinging on that coffin. <laughs> and then when you open it up, I just attach it with washi. Because there's not enough space to put any anything, for example, like a... Um, what do you call that? Like a jump ring. You know those binding rings. So I just use washi to attach all of these. I think it's so cute. And every single ghost have a sentiment. I, th I hope I put a sentiment on every single one. But I think this is my favorite dog. So cute. These papers are so adorable. It's called Pets and Pumpkins. Check it out. 
at your local Joann's. I think it's absolutely adorbs. Look at them. This one doesn't have a sentiment. Let's, let's get him a sentiment. I don't want him to feel left out. Because everybody has a sentiment. He needs, he or she needs his sentiments as well. And technically, I made these in response to Christina's um, challenge. And it's called hashtag, hashtag Tina's cute critter challenge. And so you have to create a card, a tag, and another thing that you, another thing. And so I created this tag. I created this card and the coffin with a mini album. I love to, I love to see one of these in a few, sp in new spellbound collection when it comes out. Yes, absolutely, that'd be super super perfect. Hi, Griselda. I got the six by six pad. I regret not getting the twelve by twelve. Gives you so many options because you can fussy cut all these. Or trick or treat, one would be super cute. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just used these. Like, technically, this one was a prototype. Because I was still measuring it out today. And then I made this one to make the shaker prototype. And then I just went with it. Um, This one I'm so disappointed because this is the oldest washi tape in history. So, it's coming out. Well, they are all adorable. Thank you so much, girl. So this one is like a, an accordion kind of situation. I think it's super cute. So cute. And yes, it is. It feels like it's the oldest. And this one, it says my name. And then this one is my favorite puppy. In the dog costume. This cat looks like, hey, what happened? What happened here? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> you might have to tape. Yes. I think I have to change. I have to change the washi entirely. The good thing is it's super easy to remove. I have to rethink of how to connect that. You know what I mean? Like, look, there's not a lot of space to put those binding rings. And so I need to rethink about my binding situation. But the good thing is, the challenge doesn't require you to send it to them. And so I just did a video response and that should be good. Look how cute. I love this collection, you guys. You have to check it out. And these are the dies from KS Crafts. My favorite accessory is definitely, obviously, the cross. Because it's so creepy. I feel like it's extra creepy. That's why I had to make it like a little bit lighter. And I added the dogs because it's scary for me. I think they're scary. You might have to tape it down. Yes, I do. That's a great idea. And then there's so many elements to fussy cut. Love the fussy cutting. And then the sentiments that you can put. Oh, it's going to be overkill, I think, if I do that. I love the dog. Should we have a dog ghost hanging out from this? I don't think so. There's nowhere to put it. But I love that this is the perfect amount of shakingness. Shakerness. And they all like... I love that some of them get stuck too, and it's mostly always the pumpkin. Oh my god, it looks so good. I love it. So much cuter with the pets. Yes, Jenny, I knew you would like it. So cute, isn't it? The pets are so cute. They make it extra, extra. The sound is satisfying. They make it less creepy because I feel like the coffin is a little bit creepy. But when you add the lighthearted pets that are in in such in you know in different kinds of costumes it makes it a little bit more palatable i feel like so i think this is a good choice of paper collection to use with a coffin project 
and anything shaker is amazing anyways i i love the shaker this is the perfect amount of shaker to put in there which is one third because i always almost always every single project i overflow the shaker and this is one of the few times that I didn't and I put the right amount of shaker bits inside. Very, very rare. Very rare. Because I like to overflow it. A little. <laughs> I am so excited. You guys have to join the challenge. The name, her name is The Scrappin' the scrap and grab it join her join her challenge you guys it's super fun so it's hashtag tina's cute critter challenge and it's the scrap and rabbit that's her youtube channel and the only the only thing she asks she doesn't ask you to send her anything all she wants is for you to create one card oops this is so heavy one card one tag and one uh, one other item of your choice so, so this is my tag, this is my card, and this is my item of choice. But it's super easy. You have to try it out. Um, I hope you give it a whirl. Um, check out her YouTube, her YouTube channel. She is so amazing with coloring stamped images. I'm blown away with that, how she colors the hair. So, so impressed. Anyway, I think that is it for me. I'm losing my voice and I'm super hungry. Um, whose challenge is this? It is Tina's challenge. So her name is her name is Tina. And Nikki, this is her YouTube channel. Oh, sorry, Andrea. Yes. Hashtag Tina's cute critter challenge. Yes, Andrea, this is her channel. The Scrappin' Rabbit. And you have to use cute critters in Halloween. Watch her video and let her know. Um, yay! Christina, thank you. That's the link. Um, check it out. She is an amazing colorist. She uses Copic. And it, once you see how she colors, you're going to be like, Oh, this girl is talented. <laughs> just some people are just talented sometimes. Um, yeah, that's how it goes. But hashtag, I, I, that's why I put it on here so I don't forget. It's hashtag Tina's cute critter challenge and the scrapping rabbit. She is so talented. I binge watch her, um, two days ago. Her coloring is legit. You got to check it out. Um, anyway, that is it for me, you guys. I'm losing my voice and I'm hecka hungry. After after I eat, I'm probably going to fussy cut some more of these critters because they are too darn cute. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I had so much fun hanging out with you. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for hanging out. Check out the coffin shaker coffin die from KS Crafts. I'm going to put a link down below. It, it would be so awesome if you check it out and if this is something that you're interested in. Click it. I don't have a discount code for KS Crafts. I will ask. Um, I don't think they give it anyways. Anyway, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody for hanging out. I have work tomorrow, so I won't be here. I think the next time I'm going to probably be here is on Friday. It's Friday Craft Nights. So, thank you everyone. Good night, guys. Thanks for being here. I absolutely appreciate all of you. It was fun hanging out. Au revoir!